Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I am your host, Rob Dial, and if you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you love this podcast and you want some extra tips and tricks on how to improve your mindset, go to mondayemail.com right now. Once again, mondayemail.com. Every Monday, I send out an email with some tips and tricks on how to improve your mindset, what you should work on, what I'm working on, so that you can constantly be improving. And so if you would like some actual good emails inside of your email, uh, go to mondayemail.com. It is absolutely free. And I'll start sending you some more stuff there as well. Today, I'm going to talk about what I think is the most important aspect of hitting your goals. And it's interesting because it's the part that I actually never hear anybody talk about. Uh, I've been coaching people for a very long time. I've coached many different types of people. But there's one thing that I think is the most important part of hitting goals and it's never talked about. People always say like, hey, write your goals down, you know, make a plan, all of those things. All of those are great, all of those are true, but I think there's something else that's behind that. I think this is the most overlooked part of hitting your goals. And then I'm gonna give you a tip that I think is overlooked, uh, really overlooked in personal development, but my opinion is also the most important part. And this deals with, you know, creating the life that you want, and I get it, and I think the same way, like the phrase, creating your dream life or creating the life you want. It's, it's so corny, but it is actually really true. Like it feels like create your dream life. You can do it, but it's also like you can actually create your fucking dream life, dude. Like just get up and do it. Right. So that's, that would be the Rob Dial way of saying you can create your dream life, but life comes down to, you can either create the life that you want, or you can settle for whatever you get. You either create it or you actually go and get it. And that's, uh, I'm sorry, you create it and go and get it, or you just take things as they are. I don't know about you. I'd rather create it versus just take things as they are because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to be coming down the line if you're not the one that's in control of it, right? The beautiful thing about life is life is your creation. What you have now, you have created this life. You weren't just handed this life or it's just, you know, well, I just got this. No, you actually created it. You played a part the main character, the main part in creating the life that you have. So if you look around you and you're like, I don't like what I have around you. Well, congratulations. This is the the result of what you have done in the past. And really what it comes down to is stepping into the driver's seat and actively starting to work through that thing. Most people are just creatively passively creating the life and letting it happen to them. This is not about letting it happen to them. This is about making it happen. And that's what we're going to talk about today in that aspect of hitting your goals. And what we're really going to do is is talk about something that's very simple. If you listen to this podcast for a long time, I like to take things that are super complex and make them super, super simple. I want to be able to teach so a four-year-old can understand me. So how can we make this simple? You are where you are right now. Ah, shit, look at how simple that is, right? You are where you are right now. This is where you are. If you're seeing me on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I have one, my left hand up. This is where you are right now, visually, okay? Over here to the right in my right hand, this is where you want to be, right? There's where you are and there's where you want to be. And there's a gap in between my two hands. There's where you are and there's where you want to be. And there's a gap. What is the gap? That's what I want to talk about. What is the gap between where you are and where you want to be? So let's talk about one year from now and let's talk about five years from now. Where do you want to be in five years? If you have a pen and paper, this would be a really good time. I know I always get tags on Instagram of people who are going through and watching these videos and taking notes and stuff. This would be a really good time to start pausing me, writing down some notes, all that stuff. If you're driving, just think about this stuff. Think about it in your head. Where do you want to be in five years? Where is it? What's the dream life? What is a full fuck yes life for you? Like, hell yes, that's the life that I want. That What life gets you excited? What life gets you like, yeah, man, if I could create that, I would wake up in the morning in that house with that spouse, with that family, all of those things be like, yes, this is perfect. This is the life that I created for myself. Well, what gives you energy when you think about it? One thing I always say, if you've been listening to this for a while, follow your energy follow the energy that you, when you get energy from something, that's the universe's way of saying, Hey dude, Hey, this is what you need to be doing. When you feel something, it's like, this is exciting. This gets me excited. I want to do this. Follow that energy. So what is a future five years from now that feels energetic? That feels like a hell yes. It feels like, man, if I could have that life, I would be so freaking excited. Follow your energy. 
follow that feeling of the amazing life and the amazing life that you would have. So if you're planning out something and you're writing this stuff down as I'm speaking to you, which I hope that you are, if you're writing things down and you're like, oh yeah, this person, this person, and it doesn't give you energy, it's not for you. It's not for you. For instance, if you're in a relationship and you think about that relationship five years from today, does it feel like a hell yes? Or are you like, well, I hope Stacy and I are doing good. Like if that is probably a sign of maybe you should either change your relationship in the dynamics of the relationship or maybe you should just completely change the relationship to a different relationship. I don't know. I'm not in a relationship, but I think that it, you need to find something that needs to change in the relationship or outside of the relationship. You know, do you feel like growing alongside that person gives you energy? Oh my gosh, it would be so exciting to see where we are together in five years. Or is it like, mm, I hope we're still together in five years. Does it make you excited to be in a relationship with them in five years? If so, follow that energy. If not, if it doesn't give you energy, that relationship needs to change or the person in it needs to change or you need to change and get out of that relationship and find a new one. Whatever it is, completely up to you. Same thing with a job. Like if you're sitting there and you're planning out, you know, the, oh yeah, five years from now, I'm going to still be, maybe I'll be in management in this comp company. Yay, that'd be awesome. Fuck that. You don't want that. That's the universe telling you that job's not for you. You know, how, say, how do you make money? Fast forward five years. How do you want to be making money five years from today? What job do you want? Do you want to be working the same place? Cool. Awesome. How can you, how can you become better at that and be promoted? Or do you like, this place sucks. I want to start my own job. Okay. What does that look like? What gives you energy? What type of company would give you energy and start making a plan towards that? And you do this in your relationship, you do this in your job, you do this in your company, you do this with your employees. If you have your own company, with your friends, with your body, with your health, with your children, every aspect of it. And then once you get really clear on the next five, five years and what that could look like for you, think about the next 12 months. Think about the next 12 months could look like for you. You know, if, if you're listening to this and it's the beginning of the year, what does this year look for like for you? If you listen to this, it's the end of the year. What does next year look like for you? If it's the middle of the year, what does the next back half of this year and the beginning of next year look like for you? What does that look like? What, where could you be 12 months from today that would get you as like checkpoint one for the next five years? So if, you know, five years from today, you want to be at the place that you just wrote down. If each year is a checkpoint, Checkpoint one, you got to go, you can't get to checkpoint two or three until you get through one. Checkpoint one, you hit that. Checkpoint two, you hit that. Checkpoint three, you hit that. Checkpoint four, you hit that. What is a checkpoint 12 months from today that would make sure that you're on the right path for five years from now? Where do you need to be in that checkpoint? And then what you do is you plan out your job. You plan out your relationship. You plan out your company, your employees, your friends, your health, your body, your children, every aspect of your life that you planned earlier. And now you start to have a plan for it together. Where do you need to be 12 months from today to be on track for where you want to be five years from today? Now, remember I said I was going to talk to you about the most important part. Well, of course, you need to know where you want to be. That is important. Now, just as is important and the most overlooked part, because people always say, well, what do you need to do? What's the plan? All that stuff. Those are all important. The most important part, are you ready for it? Is who you need to be to create that life. Who you need to to be to create that life. People focus way too much on what they need to do, which is important. You do need to do things. You can't just sit there and be like, hey, in five years from today, if I sit on this couch for five years straight, I'm going to have my dream life and I'm going to have the body I want in the relation. No, you're not going to have any of those things, right? You're not going to. Too many people focus on what they need to do though. It's more of who you need to be. The most important aspect of it is who you need to be. Who is the person that can create that life that you want? So what I'm telling you right now with that is that when you are the type of person that creates the life that you want, you have to be the type of person that is able to create that life. So when you look at your life right now and everything that's around you, that life that you currently have right now, that you have in this moment that you're sitting in, you have created the maximum of what the person that you are at this moment of your personal development can create. One thing I always say just gives you an idea. If we compare your personal growth to your bank account, your bank account will never exceed your level of personal growth. You will never make more money than the person that you are is able to make. Just as you will never have a better relationship than the person that you are is able to create. You'll never have a better uh, external world 
than the person that you are is able to create. And so you've got to think about that for a second. You'll never exceed who you are. Your external world and what you create will never exceed who you are. So what you currently have right now is the maximum of what you as you are right now can create. So if you want to create more in your life, you need to be more is the key to it. You need to be more to create more. Let me show you what I mean. When you look at your one-year goals, if you were the person that you are today, would you be able to have those? Probably not be able to have that life because you would have already created it if it was possible. So it shows you that building yourself is more important than building your life. Because when you build yourself, the life that you want will become the byproduct of the person that you are. And the person that you are takes certain actions. And those actions will then become the life that you have. You will get results based off of the actions that you take. I'll give you an example based off of personal experience, right? I've been saying this for years and years. And the more I get older, the older and older and older, the more that this becomes true. I could not have the life I have now five years ago because I was not the type of person that could create this life five years ago. You know, I started my business about, uh, let this, let's just take the podcast. When I started the podcast seven, eight years ago, I could not have created the podcast that I have now and be able to go out to hundreds of thousands of people when I started it all the way back in 2015 and a 16, right? End of 15 going into 16. I could not have created what I have now back then. I had to build myself into the type of person that could learn and grow. And I know that even if I take my business, like the business that I want to have in five years, I personally right now cannot run that business. I am not able to. But as I continue to build myself and build myself and build myself and build myself, I will be able to run that business. Five years ago, I definitely was not qualified to run the business that I have now, and it probably would have ended horribly. But now I have built myself over the past five years to be able to run this business. And so that's an example that I want to give you is I was not the person who was able to create the podcast or the business that I have now, five, six, seven, eight years ago. And I will not today, I am not the person who is qualified and will not be good enough to run the podcast and business that I will have in five years, six years, seven years, eight years down the road, because I have to grow and expand into that person. I'm not going to stay the same. I'm going to change. I want to change. And that's part of being a human is change. You have to build yourself and change yourself and build yourself and change yourself. One brick at a time, brick by brick by brick by brick. And if you do that, you'll be a completely different person in a few years. If you just, it's like Will Smith says, if you just focus on laying one brick at a time as perfectly as you possibly can, eventually you're going to have a perfectly built wall. And if you look at your life as one brick at a time, you're going to be alive for the amount of days that you're alive. The person that I am now, not qualified to do what I need to be doing in five years. The person that you are now is not qualified to run that life that you want to have in five years. You have to realize that there's a lot that you need to change. There's a lot that I need to change if we want to grow into the person we can be. And it might seem daunting. It might seem like a lot, but it's really not because you have to take it day by day by day by day by day. And a lot of people, when they start to think into the future, they get to over, they're overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, I get so overwhelmed when I think about the future. No, you don't get overwhelmed. You create overwhelm based off of your thoughts. A lot of people like to act like they're a victim of overwhelming. No, you're creating the overwhelm. There's no one overwhelming you. You're overwhelming yourself. All you can do is just focus on today and not even today, like this moment right now. What do you need to do? What is the best action for you to take right now to get you closer to your one-year goals, to get you to your five-year goals? And if you do that, like just ask yourself that question a hundred times a day, what's the best action I could take right now to get me closer to my one-year goals? Right now, what's the best action I could take? Is what I'm doing right now getting me closer to or further from my goals? If you keep asking yourself that question over and over and over again, eventually you'll get to what you want to be, to where you want to be. So when you look at the person that you need to build yourself into, what do they do on a daily basis? What habits do they have? What standards do they hold themselves to? These are all questions you want to ask yourself. How do they talk to themselves? How do they talk to others? How do they follow through when people rely on them? What does their morning routine look like? How do they take care of their body? How do they take care of their mind? How do they talk to other people around them? Who do they hang out with? 
and you start to get very clear on this person that you need to be. And if you become the person that you need to become and you focus on building that, you will automatically take the actions that need to be taken to create the life that they want, that you want. And if you do this over and over and over again, who do I need to be? What do I need to do? Who do I need to be? What do I need to do? Who do I need to be? What do I need to do? And you just do those things you become the person you need to become, you take the actions you need to be you need to be taking, you will wake up and you will be in the place that you have on your piece of paper 12 months from today, five years from today. It is ultimately going to happen. Who you need to be, what you need to do. Most people focus on what you need to do, but I'm also really concerned on who you need to be. Is what I'm doing right now getting me closer to or further from my goals? Am I building myself into the type of person that create the life that I want to? If you focus on that every single day, I promise you, you'll become who you need to become and you create the life that you need to create. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in at Rob Dial Jr. R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And I'm gonna leave the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.